Hey everyone, George here with a StarCraft tutorial. Today we're going to be focusing on uh, two or three prong attacks. And uh, this is one of the most important strategies in StarCraft 2 uh, to know, just because uh, if you want to cause devastation to someone's economy, you you should apply this tactic. So uh, this is a game I just finished. This is actually a 1v1 I just finished. I just uh, played uh, a Terran player here. Uh, and what I wanted to do is I wanted to just wait late game and just show you uh, what uh, what a three prong attack looks like. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna set up your medevacs Where's so that the they don't get seen by the turrets, but they're just waiting, ready to go. Up, uh, and you're gonna bind off. those to to a, to a key. And uh, then you're gonna have all your tanks and your bio army binded to another key. So if this is if we're if we're invading from two points, we're gonna have this army binded to five and this army binded to six. So five and six. Double tap, double tap five. You'll go to your bio first. Double tap six. You'll go to the medevac. So that's how it's gonna be. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna boost in with the medevacs. Here we go. And just press drop, 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 drop. D D D D D D D D D. And now when we press five and send in on this side, you've created yourself a double prong attack, and we can finish dropping the medevacs now as as our other troops fall in. And getting hit from both sides makes it very impossible for them to survive. As you can see, we have completely obliterated their base in uh, just a couple of seconds. Uh, other thing is, let's say that someone has a huge siege tank line set up that you need to get by. Uh, this is another annoying Bronze League thing that I see a lot. Uh, a lot of people just set up a bunch of tanks just right here, right? And they, and they wait for you to come. Oops, I think I made them attack each other. That's funny. Anyways, uh, there are all the tanks. Which is Banshee. Uh, there are all the tanks, and here's here's my bioforce. Let's say that we're on separate teams, right? Let's say that all these tanks are versus my bioforce. How would I, how would I uh, beat this fat force of tanks, right? Well, it's actually it's actually quite simple. Uh, a bioforce this small will probably not do well against that many tanks in any situation, just because that's way too many tanks to have. To be honest, there's so many tanks. Uh, so this bioforce couldn't really even do its damage. But let's say you had a, a, a fully maxed out bioforce of 200, and you had someone with a bunch of tanks like this. Uh, the best way to break it is to just go around it. So I would literally, since he set up a huge static defense in the front, what I would do is I would go around. So let's load up all the names that we can. And then we'll send one marine in the front to fake him out. And so he'll be focused over here. Just have them attack. And then we're going to go in with our medevacs here. And we can drop off on his main base. And that way, uh, we go around his huge static defense line. And we take out his economy. And then he'll send his tanks into here. And that's when we can go ahead and load back up and get out. Uh, the other thing you can do is when you have a more equal bioforce to the tanks. Like, we don't have... We don't have that many biological units. We only have like I don't know, I heard that. Not, not not enough marines, uh, and we have a bunch more tanks. But let's say it was a little bit more equal. What we would do is we wouldn't these wouldn't be walking because they would be getting shot at by these huge tanks. But what we would do is we would take all of our medevacs, boost them in on top of the tanks, and the tanks cannot shoot the medevacs. So you basically boost the marines over the tanks so that they're right close up, and the tanks are not very effective from close range. So you end up being able to destroy all of the tanks uh, with, a, with the bioforce. Uh, so yeah, the most important thing is if you if you have a bunch of tanks with a static line of defense, use medevacs and just basically take the medevacs. Let's just have these guys go over here while my medevacs do the work. We'll boost the medevacs in. They can't be attacked. And just drop all right here next to these tanks. And the tanks will not be able to uh, attack because it's too close. And you'll be able to easily uh, get rid of them. So thank you for watching and I hope you guys have a good day.